Hi there, my name is Cronenberg and welcome to my channel. This is Dear Esther, the landmark edition. Uh, it's a walking simulator atmospheric game. The developer is the Chinese Room and Robert Briscoe and the publisher is Secret Mode. came out in 2017, it's got mostly positive reviews and it's currently for £7.99 on Steam. Uh, single player achievements for controller support and it's for Windows XP to 10. Dear Esther immerses you in a suddenly realised world, a remote and desolate island somewhere in the Outer Hebrides. As you step forward, a voice begins to read fragments of a letter. Dear Esther, and so begins a journey through one of the most original first person games of recent years. Okay, so. The audio, the music was up here. I'm going to drop it down about, uh, about to here, which I'll do when I'm about to play. I've left closed captions off. Um, maybe I'll need to put it on. I don't know. We'll see. This is by default. I've left this all as is. The keys, there's just W, S, A and D. I'm not quick in controller. And there's your language, which I'm assuming you got French, German, Spanish. I'm going to go with Russian. Okay, so we'll put the audio back on. Where do I stick to about here? Um, and let's go for it. I have no idea what this game's like. If it's a walking simulator, I'm going to guarantee it's going to be quite short. Oh, uh, quite um. Slow moving, if you know me. Okay, here we go. The end of each chapter. Well, that's not good. So I got a complete the entire chapter. Shit. But turn my alarm off then. Dear Esther, I've lost track of how long I've been here and how many visits I have made overall. Certainly the landmarks are now so familiar to me that I have to remind myself to actually see the forms and shapes in front of me. I could stumble blind across these rocks, the edges of these precipices, without fear of missing my step and plummeting down to sea. Besides, I have always considered that if one is to fall, it is critical to keep one's eyes firmly open. As I was using the mouse to move around there. SMD and there is no space. Can I jump off? I might be able to. Not oh, a bit of jadder there. Oh, torch just kicked him. Right click. Left click doesn't do anything. Oh, yeah, the carbon chain there with the uh, double bond. Oh, there's no double bond, sorry. Hydroxide. Down. I'm going to go down. That's where the paint is.
Oh, the lighthouse. Can I go around the back of the lighthouse? I can't, can I? It's in the, um... No, okay. Right, we'll keep on going down here. Maybe I have to go up there on the right side. Not sure what's all the way down here. What's there been nothing here? That's a staircase. That's always a good sign. When you were born, your mother told me a hush fell over the delivery room. A great red birthmark covered the left side of your face. No one knew what to say, so you cried to fill the vacuum. I always admired you for that that you cried to fill whatever vacuum you found. I began to manufacture vacuums just to enable you to deploy your talent. The birthmark faded by the time you were six and had gone completely by the time we met, but your fascination with the empty and its cure remained. Oh. Dear Esther, I found myself to be as featureless as this ocean, as shallow and unoccupied as this bay, a listless wreck without identification. My rocks are these bones and a careful fence to keep the precipice at bay. Shot through me caves, my forehead a mount, this aerial will transmit into me so. All over exposed, the nervous system, where Donnelly's boots and yours and mine still trample. I will carry a torch for you. I will leave it at the foot of my headstone. You will need it for the tunnels that carry me under. Okay. I'm not sure if I can go all the way out here. Okay, I'm gonna go back, because it's obviously out in the war. Nice graphics, relaxing game. Oh, 
Right, I'm gonna go up these stairs here. Red light over there, okay. That's that. Oh, can't go over there. I want to go back down because there was that the other bit towards you know where the lighthouse is. He can't jump and he can't run. a long walk. Watch it, I'll do this, I'll go up there but nothing up there, it'll be a dead end. See what's up here. It's not good with the fence being about. Oh, Okay, I can still keep walking. Donnelly reported the legend of the hermit, a holy man who sought solitude in its most pure form. Allegedly, he rode here from the mainland in a boat without a bottom, so all the creatures of the sea could rise at night to converse with him. How disappointed he must have been with their chatter. Perhaps now, when all that haunts the ocean is the rubbish dumped from the tankers, he'd find more peace. They say he threw his arms wide in a valley on the south side and the cliff opened up to provide him shelter. They say he died of fever 116 years later. The shepherds left gifts for him at the mouth of the cave, but Donnelly records they never claimed to have seen him. I have visited the cave and I have left my gifts, but like them, I appear to be an unworthy subject of his solitude. I know you're saying that I've left a, a lantern by my grave, but I could just go into a cave. I didn't know if this was the cave. That'll be the cave down there, but I can't get to it. Okay.
So I have to unfortunately go back the way I've just been. <laughs> I don't know where the Outer Hebrides is, look at the map, it's in Scotland. Or in the area around Scotland anyway. <coughs> and yes, Scotland is a lovely place to visit. I've been to Edinburgh. And I've been to Loch Ness. The famous Loch Ness and Inverness. Um, Loch Ness is really nice. Nessie's got my disc cloth because I lost it when I was on the boat. Uh, and I've been up to Drumna Jockey. That's up at uh, the area. And uh, I've been to Loch Lomond. That's really nice, is Loch Lomond. I'd recommend that one. So I've been around, not all of Scotland obviously, there's a lot of loads of stuff and I'd love to go to some of the um, the whiskey distilleries up there because, you know, I love my whiskey, but I love the uh, single malts, so that's where they're all from. Alright, let's go back up these stairs then, which we were going to do and then we thought, no, let's not bother, let's go over there. Because that's where I got to want to, and then I couldn't go any further. <laughs> Let's go. The mount is clearly the focal point of this landscape. It almost appears so well placed as to be artificial. I find myself easily slipping into the delusional state of ascribing purpose, deliberate motive to everything here. Was this island formed during the moment of impact? When we were torn loose from our moorings and the seat belts cut motorway lanes into our chests and shoulders, did it first break surface then? this place has not really existed until something else. When someone had died or was dying or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice, they cut parallel lines into the cliff exposing the white chalk beneath. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boats and notice and aid or impose a cordon of protection. You wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths died along with its hosts. My lines are just for this, to keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Mm. It's not really sure, and you go, oh, there's the graves. That's where I'll find a lantern. What's this? There's a tree stamp in there. No, it's not. It's a grave. Is it? Is it grave? Or is it just a, just a, a rock? Hang on a minute, we've got two paths. I'm going to go down here, see what's down here. We are not like Lot's wife, you and I. We feel no particular need to turn back. There's nothing to be seen if we did. 
No tired old man parting the cliffs with his arms. No gifts or Bibles laid out on the sand for the taking. No tides turning or the shrieking gulls overhead. The bones of the hermit are no longer laid out for the taking. I have stolen them away to the guts of this island, where the passages all run to black, and where we can light each other's faces by their strange luminescence. Can I go up? No, I can't. monuments died about oh some broken down see eh? dear Where's Esther I met Paul. Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. Oh, okay. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiralled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, He'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. Can I go up there? I'm going to see if I can go over here. It seems to be able to go. You don't have to go linear. That'll be the cave that I need a lantern for. I'm going to go with. I'm going to go this way. I think so anyway. Graves are over there, I can see him. The vegetation here has fossilized from the roots up. To think they once grazed animals here, the remnants of occupation being evidence to that. It is all sick to death. The water is too polluted for the fish, the oh. sky is too thin for the birds, and the soil is cut with the bones of hermits and shepherds. I've heard it said that human ashes make great fertilizer, that we could sow a forest from all that is left of your hips and ribcage with enough left over to thicken the air and repopulate the bay. Cheery thought. Okay, so here we are at the grave. What's down here? It seems to be one of those games where you get to go around all over the place and see what's there. Oh yeah, I know what that is. That's that's why I went underneath the uh, to a dead end, as it were. Oh, where's this lantern? 
I'm assuming they were the grapes, I, I don't know. Although I have a lantern, if I go into a darkened area, I have a lantern. Which way is it? It's that way, isn't it? Back down there. Right, let's go back up here then. Sure, because I think if I go down there, I won't be able to get back up again. So, unfortunately, we'll go this way. Because I, I, I don't know if you die in this game. So, I'll go down there that way. Because there's a cave. But I have a torch when I go into that house. So, I must have a torch when I go into this one. But unfortunately I can't go to I can't stop until I get to the end because it says it's saved at the end of each chapter. Which tells me that this isn't a chapter. If you know what I mean. There's the lighthouse. I can't need to get to. And there's the boats that I'm going to get to in about four hours when I get back down this hill. Go see if I can get to that ship. I don't think I can though from where I am. No, I can't. Okay, let's go in here. So in theory my torch should work. I find myself increasingly unable to find that point where the hermit ends and Paul and I begin. We are woven into a sodden blanket, stuffed into the bottom of a boat to stop the leak and hold back the ocean. My neck aches from staring up at the aerial. It mirrors the dull throb in my gut where I am sure I've begun to form another stone. In my dreams, it forms into a perfect representation of Lot's wife, head over her shoulder, staring along the motorway at the approaching traffic in a vacuum of fatalistic calm. Mm. Um, my torch just kicked in. It's a pot of white paint. Is that an amoeba? What's that chemical equation again? A sleeping bag? 